Tonight, a small Northern California county on the national stage, sort of. During President Trump's coronavirus briefing, behind him on a hotspot map was Calusa County highlighted in red. The small community now facing a very big COVID-19 problem. News tonight, CBS 13's Laura Hafley is in Calusa with just how bad it's become, Laura. Sweet Beans Bakery was one of the first places to go out of business after coronavirus hit the area. And since then, Calusa County's had a bit of a downward spiral that's gotten the attention of the White House. Welcome to Calusa, the county in the hotspot state of California with the highest COVID-19 positivity rate. We're concerned. The rate reaching 21% over a seven-day period. We're trying to educate the community as best as possible to follow the state guidelines. But that wasn't always the case. Back in May, the county chose to ignore the stay at home orders and instead vote to allow normal functions to resume. But now the county's in trouble and their explosive COVID rate is getting President Trump's attention. But we won't do a big crowded convention per se. It's just not the right time for that. During an unprecedented admission of the dangers of coronavirus, President Trump stood in front of a map highlighting the hardest hit areas in the U.S. Over his shoulder, Calusa County. Whether it goes to the White House or not, it's still a huge issue of concern for the community. And after months of ignoring the problem, county leaders are scrambling to control the spread. Follow the state guidelines to wear masks where appropriate and treat everyone as potentially infected with COVID-19. Despite the surge, not everyone agrees on just how strong the safety measures should be. I do think we need to be very mindful of the economy. They kind of opened it up too soon, you know, and I think they should have had everybody wearing masks. Calusa County says the majority of their recent cases are coming from family gatherings and an outbreak at a local nursing home. 